I don't understand it. A couple of hours ago, this was our mess hall. Now, it's just a mess. What could have happened? Dear Mom and Dad, I have to leave camp right away. It's my fault our mess hall got toasted. Who would have known today would have turned out so awful? It started out like any normal day at camp. As usual, I was pitching a perfect shutout. Strike three, Rick. You're out. I didn't even see it. Neither did I, but I sure felt it. Oh, crud. I'm tired of getting struck out. Me too. 26 strikeouts in a row is enough. How do you think we feel? The ball never even gets near us. All right. How about if I pitch a few to Alex and, and everyone else take the field? That should even things up. All right, she got lucky on those last few dozen, but nobody hits the candy corkscrew. <laughs> I guess we'll have to call this game due to a uh, softball shortage. Aw, oh, gee. I was just getting warmed up. All right. One more fly to deep center. When I saw what it broke, I could barely touch my dinner. I should have told John about crunching the smoke detector. I just didn't think it was of first shattering importance. That detector could have warned us and saved the mess hall. So that's why I have to leave camp. Regretfully, Alex. Dear Mom and Dad, remember how you said we'd have a blast at camp? Boy, were you right. Pinky and I accidentally blew up the mess hall. It was after the softball game, and we were helping John get ready for supper. Pinky, would you get me the oil can? Let me oil it for you, John. No, that's all. Uh, thanks, Pinky. Now, would you guys get some rags and clean up that oil? That sound means the battery's worn out, guys, so we'll replace it with a new one. It was then that John made the only catch of the whole softball game with his head. Oh! I can't believe it! You caught one of Alex's fly balls! She's out! Whoa! 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 John, are you hurt? Oh, no. I only landed on my chin. You guys finish cleaning up. What I hate about cleaning up is, you have to get so close to dirt. We forgot about spontaneous combustion. You should never put oily rags in a closed face, because they can catch fire all by themselves. I'll let Binky tell you what happened after that. The mess hall went kaboom! Dear folks, I can't use my real handwriting in case this falls into the wrong hands. See, I was the one who trashed the mess hall. I was just trying to impress Vanessa. Vanessa, you look dynamite. I do, don't I? Speaking of which, look what I found. Rick, what are you doing with that firecracker? You could hurt someone, including yourself. Don't worry, I'm not going to explode it. It's just cool to have. So are fingers. How can they call these things softballs? 
Uh, hi, John. What's with the rags? I found these in a closed trash can. Someone probably forgot my safety lecture. Oily rags are a fire hazard. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, I <laughs> just demonstrated. <laughs> oh. After I thought about it, I realized I ought to turn that firecracker to jump. But before you could get it back. Oh no, my firecracker! Someone stole by then, it was kind of too late to turn in that firecracker, if you know what I mean. So that's why I'll be on the run for the rest of my life. Your son, Mr. X. Dear Mumsy and Daddykins, by the time you hear this, I will have left Camp Candy. As incredible as it may seem, your darling daughter, may have committed a slight faux pas. I had just spent the afternoon doing my hair, my nails, and picking out just the right clothes for the campfire sing-along. Uh -huh. Hello, John. How do I look? Oh, uh, very nice, Vanessa. Uh. You, on the other hand, look awful. You really should change into a sweatsuit before working out. I wasn't working out. I took an unscheduled swim. <laughs> And I'm going to change as soon as I get the campfire started. <laughs> John, that doesn't look like kindling wood to me. <laughs> Don't worry, Vanessa. I know how to get a fire going. That's the first time a fire got me going. <laughs> oh. Look at me! I'm a mess! Oh, a little mud never hurt anybody. <laughs> Ow! Now I have to change my clothes, wash my hair, and do my nails all over again. As you can imagine, doing justice to my looks requires a lot of energy. Vanessa, I can't even read the weight number on this. The appliance store of yours is drawing all the power from our lights. All right, fine. I'll just get my power elsewhere. So I use the outdoor plug of the mess hall. After all, I wasn't drawing that much power. These old war movies are so dumb. <sighs> well, I hope you have enough light to read by, Alex. Uh, 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 oh, there's uh, enough light, all right. Trouble is, I turned off our lights five minutes ago. <gasps> oh, no! It can't be! I didn't have that many cords plugged in. Did I? What a day I've had. And now the camp mess hall burned to a crisp. What a tragic waste. At least we should have toasted marshmallows over it. Something. And that, mother and father, is a shocking story of how I burned down the mess hall. Of course, if there were enough outlets for all my appliances, I wouldn't have had to plug all those cords in one socket. Maybe I did go crazy with power. But I promise, I'll never mess with electricity again. Dear Mama and Daddy, I didn't mean to destroy the mess hall. I was only helping out Chef Botch in the kitchen. Ah, paradise. Ah, Robin, the smell of a fresh beet is hard to beat, no? Not bad, Botch. I use only freshest ingredients to make my smash. Watch his worst brownies. Worst brownies? Ah, first batch is completed.
Brown. Who is going to be number one to taste Bochy's Bosch Brownies? Listen, you guys are always eating out of our trash cans. Now, this has to be better than that. Ruby, are you out to dinner? I guess that's the way the boss brownie crumbles. You are such a sweet girl. Go on, I clean up. Treatments are really good for your skin. Not when you fall into it. I was just heading for the showers. John, are you all right? Uh. Well, for a guy who's been shocked, knocked in the lake, blasted in the mud, and beaten by a softball, I'm doing okay. But I think I'd better sit down. I can only imagine what those raccoons were doing in there. <laughs> this joint's easy pickings. Will you get a load of these brownies? <laughs> Say, what are they trying to do? Poison us? Let's turn this dump upside down. You said it, Muncy. Whatever those little guys did, our mess hall is history. But it's my fault for letting them in. Did you hear that, Floyd? We're in the clear. The dam's gonna take the fall for us. Milo Maminko, Mili Tojinko. Since I am in America now, I will write the rest of this sad story in English, for sake of audience. Last night, I am baking the kids' favorite treat, Borscht Brownies. Ha, 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 shoo! Oh. Friend John, you are just in time for a batch of Bochy's Borscht Brownies. Why don't you just hit me with lightning and get it over with? Come on, John. One bite and you will be in heaven. That's what I'm afraid of. Gee, I'd love to have one, Botch, but I'm on a special beat less diet. Well, I, I guess I could have just one. Mmm, mmm. Well, you like? Oh, yeah. I've, um, hmm, hmm, never eaten anything, hmm, like, like it, never, hmm, oh. Hey, what are those raccoons doing in here? Go on, go on, go on, back where you belong. Come on, get out of here. Oh, another one. Well, that goes for you, too, you little stinker. <gasps> I, I wasn't getting too personal with that stinker crap, was I? <laughs> now let's let's just stay calm. Don't do anything. We'll both regret. Wait. No. Please. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. I hate to think how this would smell if I didn't have a cold. Alas, in my hurry, I am forget to turn off the oven, and so two tragedies occurred. Our mess hall was burned, but even worse, so were the most brownies. <laughs> Dear Mom and Pop, poor, poor John, he turned to me for medical help. But thanks to me, his beloved mess hall now lies a victim of multiple burns and fractures. Oh! Oh, P.U. Oh, yuck. Ah, oh, can't breathe. Oh. Hey, 
Hello, John. What? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hey, you. <laughs> what is that odor? I was just sprayed by a skunk. Oh, oh is that all? <laughs> For a second, I was afraid it was another batch of Botch's borscht brownies. Not if I can help it. The last thing we need is a botch of batches brown borscht. I, I mean, a borscht of brown batches. I mean, I... Ah! Wow! Oh, John, you're hurt. Oh, 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 ah, oh, oh, that, oh, that stinks. Oh, 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 you poor baby. I'll take care of you. I'll get some bandages and... Uh, but first we'll have to burn this uniform. I can't do that. What'll I wear? It's the only way to get rid of the skunk smell. All right, I, I guess we'll have to burn it. Hey, wait a minute. That's not how you're going to get the smell off me, is it? I still can't believe I was so dumb as to leave a bottle of alcohol sitting on a hot stove. And so, I'm leaving Camp Candy. After this, John wouldn't trust me to put a band-aid on a simple paper cut. See you soon. Your loving daughter, Nurse Mamali. Oh, am I sore. Well, at least today can't be any worse than yesterday. <laughs> or can it? What's going on? Why is everyone leaving Camp Candy? Someone blew up the mess hall. Yeah, I know. I, I did. did. What do you mean you did? My softball broke the smoke detector. Your softball only hit John. Our oily rag started the fire. No, it was my firecracker. My electrical cords. My raccoons. I left the oven on. No! I left the alcohol out! Wait, hey, hey, wait a second. No, 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 wait, hold on, wait, 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 hey, you, wait. You gotta believe me! Just hold on a second. You guys aren't to blame for the mess hall. But I left that alcohol. No, I put it away after you left. In fact, I managed to catch all your safety violations. Boy, did I catch them. But we've all learned good lessons about the importance of smoke detectors and about not leaving oily rags in a closed place, and about not playing with firecrackers, and about not using too many electrical cords, and about making sure stoves are turned off with nothing flammable near them. And I can't emphasize this enough, about never letting wild animals play in your kitchen. We may never know what happened to the mess hall, but... <coughs> Head Counselor Candy, I know, it was my fault. I think you'd better read this. Gee, Duncan, can it wait? Besides, I hate to read other people's mail. Please? Huh? Dear Mother and Father, Last night I was out stargazing. I was out stargazing at a meteor shower. As you know, a meteor shower is made up of rocks from outer space that burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. But I guess one meteor didn't burn up all the way. It hit the mess hall. It must have ruptured the gas line. Just a minute, Duncan. <clears throat> Duncan, I don't see how this was your fault. But, sir, don't you see? I should have warned you to move the mess hall, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Duncan. We wouldn't have believed you anyway. You wouldn't? Gee, that's great. Our mess hall hit by a meteor? What are the odds of that happening? The way my luck was running yesterday, about 50-50. So, what do you say? We start fresh with another great day at Camp Candy. Yeah! Oh, writing to your mom and dad, John? No! <clears throat> Dear insurance company, you won't believe what happened in the mess hall you insured at Camp Candy. You're right, John. They won't. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well, it could have been worse. How? Oh. 
I could have been hit by one of those meteors. <laughs>